question coming from Drosophila genetics, right? So, uh, in case of uh, like in this year, the segment polarity genes, the question came from segment polarity genes. So, we know that Drosophila as, as, as a insect, as an insect, so um, and Drosophila contained body, contained segmented body is there, right? And so this segmented body actually forms, so during the, during the embryonic stage, there is a different segmentation also occurs. And this segmentation actually play important different uh, genes are there, like one of the important genes is Engril, Engril and one of the important genes is Engril, another is the Fushi Taraju, Engril, Fushi Taraju and the wingless, Engril, Fushi Taraju and wingless, wingless, these genes are play important roles, right. Now, today we will learn about the expression, how the transcription occurs of wingless and Engril genes, right. Now, first see that these are the Drosophila body segment, in the, th the uh, during the embryonic stage of Drosophila embryo, that is Drosophila embryo contain this uh, di different segments and these segments actually contains like these are uh, different segments and from one segment to half of the another segment is the para segment. In Drosophila embryo contain 14 para segment. How many para segments are there? 14 para segments are there. So, 14 para segments are there. Now, how this para segment is formed and what is the expression of gene expression occurs during this uh, um, uh, development, right. Now, so today we will learn about the transcription of transcription regulation, transcription regulation of regulation of engril and wingless gene, engril. and wingless gene. Now, see that how the first is that look at the x axis these are uh, para segment 1, para segment 2, para segment 3. Now, so first is the highest expression so where the highest expression of Fushi Taraju and there will be engril will be expressed highest expression of fushi taraju there engril will be expressed highest expression of fushi taraju and even skip fushi taraju and even skip engril will be expressed and no expression of no expression of fushi taraju and even skip wingless will be expressed so see that wingless will be expressed here no expression of fushi taraju or even skip wingless will be expressed now now we will see in the in the next uh, how this expression occur, how signaling occurs uh, in case of uh, in case of uh, wingless and patch, right? And our role of armadillo uh, in in that case, we know that armadillo is the um, um, homologs of beta catenin, right? Now, so engril engril is a transcription factors and enters into the nucleus and initiate hedgehog expression. We will see that another is the armadillo is a transcription factor and triggered engril gene expression. Now, now we will see in the um, in the next uh, that how this expression occur, how the signaling occurs, right? How hedgehog signaling occurs, how patch uh, receptors occurs, how fragile receptors uh, involve, right? In this expression of engril and wingless gene expression, right? Now, next we will see that part. So, now you can see that here how the um, how this expression occurs, right? How uh, wingless and frizzle receptor, these are frizzle receptor. So, these are frizzle receptor. So, frizzle is a wingless binds in the frizzle receptor. Wingless binds in the frizzle receptor and then signal transduction occurs. Signal transduction occurs, there is a uh, WNT signaling occurs, w, wind signaling occurs, WNT signaling occurs, right. This signaling actually like in, in case of here, it is activate armadillo. What is armadillo? Armadillo actually homologs of beta catenin. Armadillo is the homolog of beta catenin, right. Now, in case of armadillo, armadillo is a, tra is a transcription factor, armadillo is a transcription factor and initiate 
Engril and Hedgehog gene expression, right? Armadillo, what's armadillo is? Armadillo is a transcription factor, goes into the nucleus, Arm, these are nucleus, you can see that these are nucleus and goes into the nucleus is binds and it acts as a transcription factor initiate the hedgehog and engril expression gene expression now engril now after transcription they produce translation and they produce protein engril also activates its own uh, auto regulation is there engril activate its own transcription and also initiate the hedgehog uh, transcription and tra transcription and then hedgehog protein is produced after transcription it will after tr after transcription then it it will translate and then it will produce protein and hedgehog protein and a hedgehog these are hedgehog protein now hedgehog protein binds into the nearby cells nearby cells mm, uh, or of the segment nearby cells cells that is a receptor is called patch receptor. So, hedgehog binds in the patch receptor, this is a patch receptor, hedgehog binds into the patch receptor and after binding of the patch receptor, the single transaction occurs and cubitus interruptors, cubitus interruptors initiate the gene transcription of the wingless uh, gene right and from that wingless gene and after transcription it will translate and translate produce wingless protein and then wingless produce binds into the frizzle receptor right so here is the important this this question came in this uh, uh, june 2020 exam um, uh, and uh, this question and uh, so there is a you can see that the no expression of uh, fushita raju and even skip wingless will be expressed highest expression of uh, fushita raju there engril will be expressed right highest expression of fushita raju and even skip engril will be expressed Another this question uh, came this year, another uh, part is that there is a binding of receptor, frizzle actually the wingless binds into the frizzle receptor and, and, and another is the this hedgehog binds into the patch receptor right. In that way drosophila segmentation is maintained and drosophila can 14 para segment in, in the body and this para segment actually this uh, protein gradient should be maintained throughout the all the segment so, because these proteins are not uh, too much stable uh, and so that that is why the gradient should be maintained and continuously the genes transcription or single transduction continuously going on. If there is a mutation suppose there is a mutation in the particular gene or suppose engril is mutated or there is this the para segment will be less so 7 or 8 para segment will be there right. So, this uh, is the uh, part of the that how the segmentation occurs in drosophila uh, body pattern formation another important is the role of engril and wingless uh, gene right role of engril and wingless gene transcription in the formation of para segment. Thank you.